Once it came out, like, Jossie at first said that he would deal with it and he would get over it, but he couldn't get over it, it seemed. He did come to me and was like eight and he was pregnant while I do. And I can't really answer that question. I don't know, it's like, uh, just be there for it. That's it. You know, especially now If I was there, I don't think it would have went that far. I don't think I would have left Geneva alone for a second with him. And that's what happened when she was attacked. She was left alone. I don't know what to say about you. It is From what I understand, like they held her there for like three or four days and wouldn't let her see the hospital. I remember when she said how she escaped, because I was like, how the fuck did you get out of that shit? He was playing PlayStation or Xbox or something. And she opened up the fridge and kind of let that be a distraction. Like she was looking in the fridge and she said she got on her her forge and crawled out of the house while the fridge was still open and ran out. I had nowhere to run. I don't have any brothers. I don't have a father figure. Nobody was going to come save me. I had to leave. I felt like it was going to get worse. The first person I called when I ran away from the house was my ex-boyfriend because Literally, besides my mom, that was like the only phone number I knew by heart. And he's seen my face and he's like, okay, this is crazy. I have to call my mom. His mother was like, she can't be with you because they're gonna think you did that. She literally drove me to the station. She was like, go, because you're not staying with us like that. I didn't want nobody to go to jail, but I didn't know what to do. I wasn't aware that that would all like crumble down onto him like that. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Like, that's the first thing I thought. Like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Like, how you, how it, like, you just gotta be fucking kidding me. Like, there was no other way to think about it. You know, I knew he was a lot of things and getting into a lot of shit, but that, that was new to me. That part was boring to me. But I was shocked at how bad it was. happened. He had racked up so many points that, you know, he was going to jail for a very long time. Cleo, in her mind, was like, I'm gonna have to take care of his whole life because he has a record, tattoos on his face. Like, it was exhausting. Just running, like, not knowing what the next option was for him. Alright, so I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna ask you, I need you to speak for yourself. Can you hear me, Geneva? Yeah. When he called me, I was really nervous. I was like, okay, this is a jail phone call. I answer it. Alright, are you with me or against me? I'll fucking drop the charges, but you already said that no, no, no. my gang tell that shit. Because I don't want you to end up in jail. If you drop the charges, you're gonna end up in jail, Geneva. I have to find a way around. He was telling me that I would go to jail and I was scared of that. But then he would tell me that, that he loved me and that he cared about me, he didn't want anything to happen to me. So there was still like a little bit of manipulation and I was just like so confused. I don't want you in jail. It's gonna, it's gonna drop eventually if I do not show up to court. If if I don't show up to court and I, I don't, yeah, I know. That's what we were gonna do regardless. The fact that he got in the amount of trouble that he did get into, it was not my intention. I just needed to get away from it.